And into the north we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast, Into the North. As always, it's your boy Don the Jula and the Adam Banks to my Charlie Conway all the way out there in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It's fantastic. How you doing, brother? Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Doing all right. Doing all right. Excited for this interview tonight. Yes. Yes, me too, man. It's going to yeah. be a good one. Yeah, we uh like like I've been saying, we've been putting in the effort, man, trying to make sure we're gonna get some interesting guests, yes, more guests. No, yeah, exactly. Not all the same stuff. You know exactly, what I mean? and you know we're we're, we're working hard for you guys, trying to put out you know interesting shit. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely yeah. interesting tonight. Not only is she a professional makeup artist, a trained mm -hmm. fighter, mm -hmm. and a cool chick all around, she's one yes. of my dearest friends. And here she is. Ladies and gentlemen, we are beyond stoked to have this guest this evening. We're looking, we've been, you know, Corey, you, you know, we've been looking forward. We've been running off guests lately and like, who can we get on that's going to be scintillating and electric? Absolutely. Something different, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, something different. Has something. Out of left field. You well, know what you know. I mean? Something that's going to be a different topic. For exactly. Most. Not, not that, you know, it's, we could bring on another bro to talk sports or we can bring on. Our long time and dear friend. She's a professional makeup artist and a kick ass yes. lady. What's her name and yes. where you're from? Uh, I'm Lindsay Thomas and I'm from Gunawage. Yeah, you are. Welcome, Welcome. to the show. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome into the north. It's a lot cooler up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That it is. That it is. Hmm? How you been? Uh, pretty all right. Keeping busy. Um, That's good. That's yeah, good. recently started going back to school, so I'm Jeez. always I'm always doing nice. something. Hell always. yeah, nice. yeah, you That's are. That's good. Got to stay busy, man. Got to yeah. stay busy. Keep him busy. Yeah, yeah. You know, keep adding some skill set and keep growing and evolving and just you... becoming the best I can possibly be for myself. Yeah. You're, go you're going to school for your your current job, or is just something else to you know keep rounding yourself uh, out? And... Well, uh, it's kind of attached to it. So I'm a professional makeup artist, but I'm going to school to study hair. So mm -hmm. those two combined, I can like do a little bit more, have a little more uh, creative control over like photo shoots and stuff like that. Because I'd mm -hmm. like to expand into other markets. Mm -hmm. So You're yeah, wide widening your horizons, right? Like just thank giving you yourself exactly. Well, yeah. you, you know awesome. they tie directly awesome. together, right? Like the hair and the makeup well, go exactly. hand in hand. So if you could come up with interesting and creative makeup, but you don't know how to really make the hair work, you have to trust another input. Where once you got yeah, your exactly. once you got the hair down, now the entire palette, the, the entire canvas is yours. It's all you. It's all you. Exactly. Yep. Jeez. Yeah. Beautiful. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good to hear. Yeah. So it's so it's not totally far off from what I'm doing. It's mm -hmm. just to add to what I can do and you know the opportunities that I'll be able to have as a result of that will be amazing so yeah, yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. and you know the more time yeah. you, the more time you spend on sets doing any function the more exposure you get and the bigger your rep gets and exactly yeah. like just imagine how big your rep's going to be when 33 people watch this episode of the podcast like you're going <laughs> to you're going to the stratosphere like <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's gonna be. <laughs> Here we go. Get ready. Crew take off. Crazy. Hey, you want to you want to hear you want to hear a little anecdote about how I'm a bonehead? So I would see on Instagram all the time. You know, on Instagram you see all kinds of different people. I would always see M U A at the end of these girls' names. Okay. I thought they were trying to be cute and write moi. <laughs> right. No, man. I no. I that. Yeah, I could see that, right? Yeah. Because the, uh, there's no H there. Yeah. So, fair but enough, yeah, that's how enough. you would write moi without yeah. the H. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, maybe it's just. It makes sense. Yeah, maybe it's like lit or something. Like maybe I don't get it yet. It's like, moi. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think the word smooch is cooler. Yeah. Then. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay Thomas. Moi. Yeah. Moi. Because look how beautiful I make you, right? And then, and then my wife's like, you know, it stands for makeup artist, right? And I'm makeup like, artist. fuck, I'm a bonehead. <laughs> oh, Crevier, man. Crevier. At least it was an innocent thought. I'm like, oh, that's cute, I guess, you know. It's like, it has a little charm to your name. You're like, Mwah. <laughs> Besitos. Uh, it's like the sprinkle on top, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's so wholesome. Yeah, I know, right? 
<laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. No, oh, that's anyways. Now now I feel smarter and now uh yeah, now uh when I go by that I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. It, t- it took the shine yeah. out of them. I'm like, wow, yeah, this that. is really catching on. All these girls got mwah in their name. Like, <laughs> I got it tattooed on me before like the trend really took off. So I could be like, yeah, I was cool before you guys. Like, <laughs> Dear man, Lord. Man, I, oh, you couldn't man. get me to put on lip balm for ages, man. I ain't trying to do nobody's makeup. Like, <laughs> I color with the kids. They think I'm the one in preschool. Oh, Grant, you shit. keep be- between the lines. Well done. Good job, good job. <laughs> Yay, Grant. Yeah. Nicely done. Nicely so, done. Z, we got a couple of questions for you. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a chat to chat, and it's gonna be a good time. And uh, yeah, and after that, we got a little speed round, which sometimes takes longer than the main questions. A little because dry. sometimes there's more no. interesting stuff in them. But yeah, I, I di- sure. but I digress. So yes, let's get it popping. Corey Chance, the master of ceremonies. Let's do this. Yes, here we go. Got a few questions for you. Going to start off here with number one. Knowing that you're making place to start. Yeah, yeah. You know, I could jump around, but I, mean, I feel like number one's in the right position, so we're good. We're good. Good stuff. Uh, like knowing, he, knowing. He pulls out the closer. It's like, wait, no. <laughs> no we need to know who she is before we ask that question because it ties the whole thing together. Damn. Spend Corey, time on bro, this I shit. I got this. I got this. I'm bro. there with a big this. quill and a feather. It's like question six. <laughs> Makeup, first eh? Question. Hey, first question. So what's next? No, I'm just kidding. No, no. Okay, so check this out. Check this out. Here we go. Here we Jesus. go. No jokes. No jokes. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Eric. Okay, knowing knowing that you're in the the makeup industry, you're a makeup artist, and mm-hmm. you 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 do what you do with to make people look beautiful or scary as fuck looking or whatever, right? So, uh, mm-hmm. what 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 made you like? decide to do makeup like why makeup and and how did you get started um well actually as a teenager i had really bad acne and um i remember being made fun of like quite a bit like especially well i was in about grade six so for a long time i didn't really feel good in my skin and makeup helped me to feel better um and it just always appealed to me like the whole beauty and fashion and whatever so I didn't know it was a job and uh I decided in the fall of 2014 to finally pursue it like uh so I learned beauty makeup I wanted to help other women feel good in their skin because I think it's important Mm. um so there's so many there's so many like uh what do I say there there's so many things like going against us to like make us not feel good about ourselves so I just wanted to be part of you know the process of women feeling good in their own skin so after I took beauty I wanted to take it a step further because I don't like to limit myself and like you know be possibly hired for a job like oh sorry I can't do that I don't know how Mm -hmm. um so I started looking for schools and I settled on one in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So cool. international. I, nice. Yeah, sure. Nice. It, it was an amazing experience. I studied uh she took her talents for... down to South Beach. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh I studied airbrush makeup. I studied uh makeup for T V and film and I also studied special effects. So amazing. yeah. Amazing. I, I wish I could show you, but I'm using my phone. <laughs> it's all right. Um, uh, we're gonna link all your. Long... We're gonna link any of your stuff, uh, your IG or any yeah. like if you have uh, any pictures up online, we'll link it all in the uh, in the video oh, in description cool. after. Yeah. What? Uh... Like I said, full service. You're 33 viewers a week, man. You're gonna well, explode yo, after you got, this. Yo, Gotta know how to nice. find you. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Gunawaga uh... and drive around. You'll see her. Okay, that's. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, man, I don't really leave my house. Yeah, <laughs> it's more like you have a better chance at like finding the hoof lady than finding me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got more of a chance of bumping into me over there. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, how long? How long were you in school down there for? Uh, it was four months. March, April, May, June, March, July. Yeah, four months. Nice. So I rented a little apartment there and just awesome. studied. I just awesome. studied like I didn't really party or anything like you know because my kids were here like mm. I couldn't 
Not yes. that I couldn't bring them, but you know, it was more or less like I'm going to study specifically. Like if they're there, like mm -hmm. it's going to be kind of a distraction. I'm not going to be able to do as well. Being yeah. a so, mom's hard and enough, then, and you have you have exactly. to truly dedicate yourself. And I'm sure there's a lot of after hour stuff too. Uh, you oh, know, God, practicing yeah. blends on yourself and practicing all kinds of different things. I'm just coming up with words that I think make sense in makeup speak. I don't exactly, <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm talking about, but like, you know, I'm sure there's hours after yeah. the bell goes that you, you keep working on the craft and, you know. Yeah, no doubt. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Sometimes you got to miss them for a bit to, you know, come out, you know, the better version of you and a better version of their mom, right? Exactly. Absolutely. Like, I don't, like, you know, I know some people, you know, are completely against that and that's fine. That's their mm -hmm. opinion, whatever, yeah. but. It worked for me, mm -hmm. and I think it's important for ki for our kids to see us passionate about something. Hell like, yeah. I don't really, I don't really yes. agree that once you become an, a parent, like you don't exist as a human anymore. You know, that's kind of it builds resentment towards our kids, and mm -hmm. you know, I think it's important for us to continue to fulfill ourselves and to pursue our own passions and hobbies. Like our kids need to see that, mm -hmm. you know, because then they see us joyful, and you know, then. They're happy too, and everybody's happy. That's a, actually so. that's a really, really <laughs> sharp thing you just said there, because I always find that you your kids are sponges. They they always watch. They're always observing. Yeah. They're all, and oh, yeah. always absorbing. The thing is, they can watch how you interact with your significant other and people in the world, and how you interact with them. But they also see how you treat yourself, right? Mm -hmm. They could see mm -hmm. if you love if you love yourself the way that you're supposed to to be the best version of yourself, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. you know how, I mean, how many people it takes forever to learn how to do that? Oh my God. Let alone yeah, a five, is. six, seven, eight, nine year old watching you go through these troubles. You don't remember True. you yelled, well, but they heard it, you know, they, you know, you, mm -hmm. you sit there down in the dumps, you know, crushing another Big Mac and just drinking a beer and watching TV while your kids seeing like, wow, that's, you know, that's not the that's, guy who high fives me on is. Saturday mornings and kicks the ball and throws the ball. So. They have to mm -hmm, see, yeah. you know, you, the only person who's going to take care of you at the end of the day is you. And you got to teach them how yeah. to do that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Well yeah. said. Well said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you did the hard thing to come out, you know, doing better on the other end. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. You know, and they see how much passion and, and how much I actually love my job. Hell yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like, it is it is difficult. Like, don't get me wrong. You know, they struggle with it too. But, <clears throat> you know, like, I'm... I, I do share some things with them. I, I do sign NDAs. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I can't really share too much, but, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. to keep them engaged and mm -hmm. make them feel like they're part of something with me, you know, like, yeah. oh, I'll be like, I worked on this or I worked on that or, hey, check out this this person I worked yeah. out or, or look, at, look at the set kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, so cool. like, uh, cool. like they're proud of me too. And it's Hell unfortunate because yeah. I, I can't, really say too much because i've only started uh like really working a lot in the last year but the projects that i've been on have been like absolutely incredible and i am beyond blessed yeah. like but i Maybe. worked my ass off as long as i've sure. as long as i've <laughs> known sure. you you've never done anything half-assed oh god when no. you when, when you say let's do that's something true. you do it that's true no half-ass and both cheeks in it bow that's true <laughs> That's true. For real. Hell yeah. For sure. For That's sure. fantastic. And sure. uh, when you were there, who did you study under? Like, were there any, like, was there a specific guy to teach you how to put scales on a face? Or was it like a group of teachers? Uh, well, I, uh, we had different teachers, like, teaching different topics. So okay. uh, there was a teacher. We had Melinda. Uh, she was a key makeup artist for Bloodline okay. uh, on Netflix. Um, yep. So she had taught us like uh injuries burns key makeup uh, artist is uh, is the top of the chain uh yeah okay. well sort of sort of the head of department is like mm. the head motherfucker in charge yeah. and but, then the but they don't but they don't artist. swing a brush <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 of course they do okay oh. So I they're working yeah. while everyone under them still work. See, I know nothing about yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. This is awesome. Let's go. Let's fucking yeah, yeah, go. Yeah. All good. No, All no, good. It's, All like, good. It's, a, it's a big, crazy hierarchy. Like, okay. and, you know, obviously I'm in the union, so, and they take that stuff really seriously. So, yeah, um, it's, a, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. So uh, I learned from Melinda. So that's what we learned with Melinda. And then uh, we had uh, Luandra Whitehurst. Effects? Uh, well, see, that's, uh, no, 
my special effects teacher was uh, Lu- Luandra Whitehurst. Okay. Mm. Uh, she's actually really doing well for herself right now. Uh, and then we had Tim Hayes. Uh, he used to work, well, they both worked at Universal Studios in Orlando. Wow. Uh, wow. For the Beetlejuice Graveyard Review. Um, okay. So they did that for years, uh, Halloween Horror Nights and whatnot. Uh, they did The Walking Dead. They did. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And awesome. then, uh, yeah, we had Derek Garcia. He was, uh, I think he was a semifinalist on Face Off. Okay. Not yeah. sure which season, but anyways, uh, he's starting to like key some shows from what I've seen. So I learned from like top, like top dogs. Hell yeah. Awesome. Like I was that's really, awesome. I was really fortunate. And, and, and that's the reason. That's one of the reasons why you went down to Florida, though, right? To learn from mm-hmm. some of the best, right? Yeah. So. yeah, exactly. Like, I didn't want to go to California. Like, that was that was way too far. <laughs> so, Fair enough. You know, Office, like, like Florida. Florida yeah. yeah, exactly. And Florida it's Fort Lauderdale. Like, People speak in French for. everywhere. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> there, there was a there was a patinery place, guys. Oh, yes. I swear to God. Beautiful. They Just had, bare Frenchmen patin popping poutine. Beautiful. And, yes exactly they had hot dogs he made they had oh, white vinegar it was phenomenal man. yep amazing. they even oh. rude ass white french ladies like it was that's great amazing. Taste of hope. Taste of hope. that's exactly. amazing yeah, exactly yeah. <laughs> anytime i was homesick i'm like i'm gonna go hang out with some french people <laughs> exactly right on. that's great that's great. fantastic well hey um yeah. so wait so of- coming out of there that was your degree and then you had to go and find work in the world or mm-hmm. like you just got your paper yep. and it's go get it. Now. Yeah. See ya. You're on your own. Yeah, exactly. Thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Basically because they, they did offer like job assistance. Like if I lived in the Florida area, mm-hmm. but you know, yeah. I had to come back home. However, I had no idea. There was a big, huge film industry here. I'm thinking like, oh my God, I missed out completely. Like, you know, I, I'd rather be in Florida, blah, blah, blah. Well, to come to find out there's like a ginormous film industry here. I'm like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I had no idea. I was so naive. Um, so yeah, like. Well, the... think about it. There's tons of French channels that have shows on them. They got to make them somewheres. <laughs> well, yeah. not just that, but even for American productions, like there really? is a big industry for American productions. Yeah, they filmed. Uh, what did they film here? They oh, filmed John quite Wick. a bit. John Wick, X Men. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, Transformers. Mm-hmm. Uh, the scene at the beginning else? of the third John Wick, where they're ripping around on the motorcycles. Um, I don't know. You see the giant Victoria's uh, Secret building in downtown Montreal. Nice. I don't know what okay. it's supposed oh, okay. to be in the in the in the film, but uh huh. Mm-hmm. No, nope, but there's there's quite a bit that's filmed here. Uh, Ghosts is being filmed here right now. Mm-hmm. It's like nice. the number one show in uh, America. It's the number nice. one comedy in America. But, Ghosts. Yeah. Yep. Never heard of it's it. It's a it's a comedy. Cool. All it's right. based on a, a the British comedy Ghosts. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check it's it out. On, it was on BBC, yeah. but I have to say it's pretty funny. All right, nice. I'll check it out. And nice. they got a, they got a lot of you know good representation on there. There's a native guy. Uh, there's mm-hmm. an African American woman. Uh, you know, and cool. then that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. We were talking yeah. about that. Uh, we did an episode on the show Shorzy. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Uh-uh. Uh, Letterkenny. You heard of Letterkenny? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the yeah. spinoff. Shorzy. Yeah. yeah, and there's tons of native people. The three gyms, the Ojibwe yeah. gyms, the Sanguinette, the two sisters. Yeah. Two sisters. Yeah. The owner even, I think, is part Maybe. Part two. But yeah, and like yeah. tons of native representation. Tons. Which is great because, nice. you know, it's like, it, it's 2022. People live, <laughs> people live with people. You know what I mean? There's people from everywhere in every scenario you're in. So why would we misrepresent people on film? You know, oh, well, you, you hear it. Yeah. You hear it a lot. Why are there so many gay people on TV? Because there's been gay people everywhere. You just didn't know. Mm-hmm. And they and yeah. then <laughs> they weren't putting them on TV. The versions yeah. on TV would either be the the, 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 the super effeminate one or like the mm-hmm. guy that everyone thinks is straight. That's and true. then he's like, actually, I'm gay. And they get all weird for an episode and you don't see him again. Like, <laughs> you know, oh, <laughs> like, man. Uh, well, yeah, man. Sad re- but true. Representation's sad but true. key and behind the scenes, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Is he it's walking like, in there? You know. 
<laughs> well, I have a, a colleague I work with all the time, actually. His name's Nathan Blacksmith. Okay. Um, he's Cree, so nice. that's pretty cool. So nice. it's really great that I get to work with somebody who's Native because <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can try to have, like, inclusion all you want, but if you don't have somebody else there that's from, like, the same culture, it's mm-hmm. like you feel kind of, like, lost. Yeah. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. Like, were you invited for you or were you invited just so they could say we have one, you know? Well, well, no, I know. I know I'm good at what I do. Good. Like, I, I can honestly yeah. say, say it again. Like, say it again louder so they hear you. I am good at what exactly. I do. Exactly. <laughs> Let them know. Right on, right on. Yeah, we raise our loud voices here in the north. Loud and proud. Loud and proud. <laughs> Dear Lord. Okay, yes. I'm good at what I do. Yeah. So. But yeah, I that's guess why, it must be cool having, you know, having buddy there alongside you. Yeah. Well, not just that, a native buddy. Mm-hmm. You know, it's 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 amazing. And he has the same work ethic as I do and, you know, we hustle like okay. and we're, you know, we try to behave as much as possible. Well, we do behave yeah. obviously, but like we're <laughs> have fun. Have we're fun. fast. We do what we're told, and you know, we just do it. And our boss, our boss, trusts us. Perfect. So that's you know, that's important. that's that's important, exactly. So they, yeah, you know, more. they know if they told they tell us something, they, it's gonna get done. Mm-hmm. They don't have to worry like, oh God, did they go do this? Did they go do that? Because like, you know, there's a lot of COVID testing involved, and there's a lot of logistics involved in like working in films. So mm-hmm. okay. you know, they, they know you're never not have fuck to about worry. So. <laughs> oh, exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We love our jobs and we take it very seriously. And yeah. uh, it's That's awesome great. to be able to work with him often. And it's like, you know, as as I'm getting more in the industry, I'm seeing, you know, different people like, of you know, different races. Like, mm-hmm. you know, there's a few Latina girls that like I really like. Uh, there's a few African-American women, um, you know, and you're start like I'm starting to see them more and more. And it's nice. You yeah, know, yeah. it's like you don't feel as. Like, oh, God, this is like a big white people world, you know, because I, I, sorry, I mean, it, it, it kind of is, but it's true. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's and I'm sorry, it's it's intimidating because, mm-hmm. you know, it's like here I am, you know, and some people like disagree with me. But and, you know, one day I'll get to this place, but I'm not there yet. But like to go in and like know that, you know, oh, shit, I'm like one of, you know, I'm, I'm like the only native here like i'm gonna do a damn good job so like i do i make a good representation for my people Hell yeah. you know people won't look at us like oh they're lazy oh they're this they're that because so many times we get that stereotype right mm-hmm. and it's like nah 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 not here like yeah. so people when they see me work like i fucking work like i bust out makeups like it ain't no thing yeah. you, you know <laughs> a, lo- a lot of that a lot of that sorry go cory you, you earn every every step of the way. You earn yeah. that shit. So it's yours. Oh, yeah. you take it. That's great. That's hey, good. Yeah. You know what That's I'm great. realizing? That's a good. lot of people who feel X or Z or Y way about, you know, any group, they have zero exposure to them really. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. the hearts and the minds of people are won by, you know, being around people and seeing their actions and the quality of them, right? So it's like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, we got two native people at work and they're fucking red. Immedi- Again, Im- to- immediately that wall comes down. Like, well, if well, these yeah, two yeah. are dope, you know, hopefully there's more yeah. or an even, even yeah. boring, even, even boring people may not be, you know, bad people. Like, you know, it's like we're, mm-hmm. exposure to it, different people helps you know that, oh my God, these ideas are just thoughts I had. I'm seeing the real deal yeah. in front of me. Exactly. And yeah. these people yeah. are cool, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. For sure. Fucking right. Yo, question two. You ready? Do knowing this. i i i know you're into horror movies for sure guaranteed yeah. like I, i've seen stuff you've posted you know from back in the day and stuff and makeup you've done halloween time seems to be pretty good we enjoy that shit and it's coming up again um mm-hmm. what what is your 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 favorite scary movie what's the your favorite Exorcist. scary movie Lindsay? oh Exorcist. no way really why is that yes go and top oh, shelf eh? Why is that? Go and talk about Because it? it's just, it's just fucking great. It's fucking like, terrifying. I, <laughs> like, I, I, there's just so many. Okay, first of all, the director, he actually abused the fucking actors in there. Like, people got hurt. Like, people died on the fucking set. The set was cursed and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was a thing. <laughs> Guys, I even went Yo, to like. Oh, what? I even went. Yeah, 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 I even went to the stairs. Like, uh, my family, we went to Washington. Yeah. And we visited the stairs where Dr. Karras fell down and died. No way. <laughs> that's that's how much I like that's it. That's gay. That's awesome, man. Uh, I went to the house. The house. Holy, Holy shit. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. So, I remember seeing it uh, when I was, I think, 12 at <laughs> okay. this girl Jen's house. All right. And her right. house was fucking haunted, apparently, right? So I was already scared shitless. And she knew everybody uh, was, like, scared to sleep at her house because she always had, like, these scary fucking stories about her house. Nice. And I believe it because it was in the old village, Grant, like, mm -hmm. by the church. Yeah, yeah. And, I you know, know exactly. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, like, all those houses are, like, very haunted. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, wow. and, and where does it and where does that end? That fucking tunnel, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. And you yeah, keep yeah, going yeah. down that road, oh. and you get to a tunnel, and it's fucking ridiculous. Like it yeah. feels like the houses look old, but like the area, obviously, you know, the dirt's existed for billions of years. But the area just feels like there's more ness to it. You know just, I mean? just real eerie not feeling, eerie, right? But it's not like driving out to Clay Mountains. You like know what I mean? Heaviness. It doesn't feel the same. Yeah. There's like a heaviness. Yeah wow that's crazy. the best way to describe mm -hmm. it it's like crazy. it's not it's not like nothing like you feel that it's like kind of different mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's the best way to say yeah. it like, all the right, vibe all is right. just like Ooh. cool mm -hmm. cool would you argue that it is the best horror movie of all time uh would you yes, dig your heels uh, yeah. in and say this is the one yeah. because it's yeah. it's there yeah. it's up there yeah yeah mm -hmm. i would it's do, crazy. do you like, have a favorite chan uh to be honest uh Okay, so there's only been two real horror movies that have ever like spooked the fuck out of me. Okay, one of them was Pet Cemetery when I was younger. Yeah, well, that's a fucking yeah, good that's, one. That's, that's I a good it. one. I watched it at Cam Kevin Hamilton's house when I was like Jeez, probably twelve. He's crazy K represent. I know, <laughs> you know him, and uh, yeah, uh, yep. it, it, it 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 freaked the shit out of me. It freaked the shit out of me. Um, and then and then about the age of like sixteen, I guess it was, uh, House on Haunted Hill came out. Mm -hmm. And that was like the first movie with all that twitching shit, like, and it was like, oh, right, right, the with the camera trick where oh. they're like very choppy, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like that moment that person got like grabbed and sucked into the fucking wall. I was like, yo, I literally spent most of the movie like this, man. Like I was like just trying to act cool because I went to the movie with a chick and I'm just like chilling there. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, I can't believe I can't believe you watched that whole movie. I was like, yeah, I know, right? It wasn't that bad. He's wiping well, tears off. Terrified. <laughs> I was fucking terrified. Now that I watch that movie, though, it's kind of whack. But still, at that time, that movie was fucking wild. Yeah. Lindsay, that movie was wild. Lindsay, sell it yep. to me. Sell it to me. Why is The Exorcist the goat? Well, first of all, the makeup was like fucking incredible. That's exactly and I think what I wanted sense, you to say. <laughs> and I think, in a sense, that's probably why I wanted to get into makeup between like. The Exorcist, and there's a other few great movies that like really fucking inspired me and like make my soul like thing. <laughs> but <laughs> The Exorcist is one of them, yeah. and you know, just like having this child like behave in the way that she did and do it so fucking well, mm -hmm. like it was just yeah. fucking great. It was, it's a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. Like, you could still watch it, and it's still relevant to this day. Like, the acting yeah. is phenomenal. Yeah. Like, you know, just everything about the film is like really beautiful. Mm -hmm. I have to say, yeah. you know, I want to disagree with you just for banter's sake, but I, I can't. I I have it right up there with the best of all time. Oh, it's good. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's I don't. So I'm not between that. Uh, so no, no, sorry. Go with your thought. Oh, I was gonna say between that and uh, since we're talking about like beautiful horror movies, I I really think The Shining is also a really beautiful horror piece. Yeah, that course, is a perfection. good one. That is a good one. You can't. Yeah. yeah. You can yeah. watch that any like over and over, and it still doesn't. Yeah. You know, get old. It never gets old. Never. No, mm -hmm. and it's still creepy every single time, but it's still like vi just it's visually pleasing, like between the colors and the textures, and just like visually, it's stunning. I love the acting in Jack it. Is, I and it. Jack yeah. is so handsome. Wow. You feel like such a piece of shit because he's insane. Like, But you're like, fuck, yeah. look at this guy. Like in the straightest way possible. Right. I just stare at Jack Nicholson for hours. Like, fucking... I mean, poor Shirley Duvall like, was yeah. fucking traumatized from that movie. Like, They fucking abused the shit out of her. Oh, it's something. <laughs> and, and, and I think that's like kind of maybe what makes the horror film so believable like for both of them is because like people actually were hurt people actually suffered and mm -hmm. 
you know, uh, like felt pain as a result of this movie and they still released it. And even though there was like so much controversy surrounding it, you know, like, yeah, but it, did, it was a different time. time. They're still yeah, talking that about it. Happen nowadays. <laughs> It would have flagged. Oh God! It would have flagged. Hell no, no. That shit would have well, been shut down. Shut down. I think it depends. I think it oh. depends on the participants, right? You know, some people are willing to sacrifice themselves for the art. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? True. You know, like Daniel you know, Daniel Day Lewis. Uh, like he's a method actor. He lives his shit. Uh, Christian Bale lost a billion pounds to the uh, was the machinist. Yeah. Right. The machinist. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great movie too. Leonardo DiCaprio when he's doing the scene in Django where he's standing there at the table and he's yelling at them and he smashes the glass. He mm-hmm. actually smashed the glass and cut his hand open. I and, hope they used that day. And, 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 and they did. That's what they kept. That's what Tarantino <laughs> kept. And he kept going. And he kept going. And so the rage and the pain was actually real. So he mm-hmm. could actually access how unbelievably freaking furious pain he is that he they was, tried yeah. to fuck him over. How dare you come into Calvin Candy's house yeah, and pull this crazy. bullshit. And he's <laughs> throwing around these, fuck this, these hateful words and Crazy. He just kills it, but he was actually bleeding. So some people are willing to sacrifice for the art. Oh, for sure. For and, sure. you know, Ledger. if the director Eat. and he's in, then let's fucking, you know, kick the shit out of me. Let's let's try to make it as good as we can. You know, like, mm-hmm. he, yeah. He, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger was like one of the craziest method actors. Man. It fucked him up. The Joker fucked him up because he got himself there, you know? It took it took his life pretty Jesus. much. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. Damn. Yeah, man. It's crazy. But yeah, so... When it comes to horror films, I'm not the biggest guy. Like, I'm not scared of ghosts or ghouls mm. or demons. In the in, like me uh, sitting here, I'm not worried about that shit getting me. I, mm-hmm. I'm probably wrong. There's probably ghosts and spirits that actually exist, and I'm just whatever. But I am afraid of real mm-hmm. life people that are fucking crazy that are gonna do all kinds of crazy shit to you. House of Chains a Thousand like Corpses. Yeah, exactly. Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, De- Jeffrey Dahmer. Homeboy lived in Milwaukee. <laughs> exactly. Oh, the normal oh, everyday dudes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, and he's chopping people up and eating them. You know what I mean? Like, there are crazy right, people out there. Like nothing. Well, oh, yeah. 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 And crazy. and like Yo, the, crazy. Netflix has been killing it lately in their documentaries. I'm sorry, Netflix. Absolutely, has been killing it. Oh, man. Absolutely. So good. like because we're actually seeing like this isn't this isn't pretend anymore. Like this is for real shit. Like this yeah, yeah. is really happening or this really happened. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Like. And I think that's a lot scarier because, you know, it's not like, oh, well, we can relate to it or whatever. Like, no, this is something people are actually experiencing and we can't ignore it anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very in our face, you know, because people like, I guess, Netflix is brave enough to cover it. But I mean, Uh, as like producers and stuff like that, it eventually gets to a point where you got to try to, you know, give people what they want. And it seems as though people want to know. You want serial killers. (laughs) Well, well, what to look out for? I mean, well, come on. Ne- well, you know, ne- there's sorry, so- go, Corey. I, I, I've there, got my idea after you. Sorry. You know what I mean? Like, there's only so much ever written in the paper and stuff about like serial killers and stuff like that, right? Because yeah. they didn't want to give too much detail. Nowadays, they're doing, they're doing, they're showing you interviews that you never seen before mm-hmm. or ever heard of. Like, you're, you're actually seeing live footage of like these crazy people being interviewed by some yeah. psych doctor in the in the in prison, and you're just going. How is this person? Mm-hmm. How how do you feel comfortable sitting across from this maniac right now? How do how do you look him in the eyes and not have your heart just jump clean out of your chest? I would, like, there's I wouldn't even I would freeze right up. I'd be like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. You, you know what? I, to 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 Lindsay's point that she just made, Netflix has their own dollar. It's Netflix's yeah. dollar. It's not a yeah. massive. Oh, yeah. It's not a massive studio's yeah. dollar. It's not all kinds of other inputs dollars. It's Netflix. So when Netflix says we're going to spend our dollar on this yeah. thing, and with people that you may have nev- never heard of, but we believe in them, make what you're going to make. We're not going to chop it. We're not going to fuck with it. Yes. Make the thing, and you know what? It land. A lot of this stuff lands, and it's brilliant. And Netflix has been slaughtering. Uh, slaughtering. Killing it. Yep. Who For takes a, a chance on Squid Game? True. Who takes a chance on True. something like that? It's mm. gonna be only in yeah, Korean. It's gonna be super Korean, like the, the how you see the game show, uh, the yep. game show mania that they have over in in places like Japan and Korea. You know, their game shows are super weird and complicated. Yes, it is very much I an still Asian product. Seen this yet. Really? Squid Game? Oh, yeah, wow. I, I, I have to watch it. It you is should. very I much. I keep an... saying I'm going to, and I I, I don't. 
You should. It's pretty it, good. You'll, you'll, you'll clean it up quick. It's not long. Yep. Really? It's not long yeah. at all. Nope. Not so it is all. a very okay. Asian product that they said, we're going to sell this to Americans and they're going to fucking love it. Are they going to be speaking and English? Then, no. <laughs> they're going to have yep. to read <laughs> subtitles and they're still going to fucking love it. Netflix yep. is able to take those risks. Mm-hmm. And sure. they know that people love serial killers. They could go out and spend $10 million on the rights to some guy's tapes that he never released. The interview Dahmer. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? They could buy old yeah. video footage and whatever they can. They'll spend the money mm-hmm. to make the thing good. You know, they're in charge mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. You know, same so thing with sure. Hulu and these other ones there. But Hulu is part of Disney. Plus. Yeah, I was going to say they're all part well, of Well, yeah, Disney so. is. Marvel too. Marvel's yeah. part of Disney. But Disney's, Disney's fluffing out their Disney catalog. They own yes. Star Wars. They own Marvel. They yeah. own these things. So yeah. they're doing a lot of work with that. Where yeah. Netflix, they could take uh-huh. nobodies from nowhere and say, you know what? Here's 50 million. Bring me back eight episodes and. You yeah, know, yeah. The sky's yep, the limit. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Netflix has misses, but you don't talk about them. You talk about those no. shows that take over your entire existence. You, yeah. mm-hmm. you was massive. Yeah. People love you. The ones, that, the ones that helped me get through the cold winters of Manitoba. Let me tell you. <laughs> Look at Tiger King. Look at Tiger King. Right. right. Who the fuck? Uh, right. NBC's not putting Tiger King on. No, <laughs> you know? no, 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 yeah. definitely not. They yeah. want to interview him after yeah. Netflix, though, does this. So that's for sure. Yeah. So to get back to my main point, I think House of a Thousand Corpses is one of my favorite uh, uh, scary movie. movies of all time. Ooh, yeah, that's, Last House yeah, on the that's, Left. Uh, Last House, yeah, that yeah. was a good one. Although I'm, one? I'm a big fan of uh, Insidious. I like the you Nun. Ever seen... Oh, yeah. No, is yeah, it Insidious? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that no, The Conjuring. Conjuring. Yep. You ever see the 13? Conjuring universe with the is with good. the nun Annabelle? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, the, that universe is incredible. There's still room for seen... classic horror, you know. Not everything has to be like mm-hmm. super fucking high. Like it can't be either super high fashion film or you know human centipede. Like there's room yeah. for old school Gross. stuff to still Gross. exist, Gross. you know. Gross. Yeah. yeah. Gross. <laughs> you guys ever see the movie Thirteen Ghosts? Hell yeah. Yes. Fuck yeah. man, crazy. I love I love the 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 ghosts in that movie fucking trippy mm, yeah it's a pretty Trim. i wanted to recreate one but so good so yeah good. one of these days one of these days i will absolutely so good. you know what so good. why doesn't netflix take 13 episodes 13 ghosts produce an hour long an episode kind of like they did with um with the girl she she kills herself she get uh 13 reasons why That's not how. you know i was oh, like thir- uh, thir- 13 tapes 13 yeah. ghosts no doubt. You know, spend the money, make one ever, and make it mm-hmm. sick. Because 13 Ghosts, the big fat ghost guy, and then the... Oh, dude, yeah, man. man. The baby yeah. with his mom. Yeah. An acting debut that of Miss Rodega. <laughs> yes, that's right, man. That's true. Mm-hmm. No doubt. No doubt. Oh, man. Crazy. Crazy. All, All right, right, yo. Let's get on to, uh, let's go to the next question. Yeah. So the exorcist is the goat. I'm not going to argue that. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That's, no, that's a good one. I could accept that. That's a good one. All right, cool. Cool. Yep. Glad we agree. Yeah. She's like, I don't have so, to call you guys idiots on your own podcast. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. Yeah. I would never say that. Oh, man. No, you're too good. You're I too keep good. that up here. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, eh? So, uh, I know uh, back in the day you were heavily into, um, like, MMA fighting type stuff like that, right? Well, you you enjoyed you had, you, you enjoyed the odd little dojo experience, right? Well, growing up, my dad like uh, he brought taekwondo to the mm-hmm. community, so yeah. and then he also did a uh, one punk at the, a time. Blah, no, <laughs> Yo. well, I'll bring a taekwondo well, to this but, community, bitches. <laughs> no. <laughs> But my dad put together all the uh, the Night of the Warriors, so my dad yes. was the show mm-hmm. promoter for that. Uh, mm-hmm. Extreme Combat in 94, that was the first cage combat event in Canada. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's it's not that, you know, it, it's just I was so surrounded by it. Yeah, so it, yeah. it was kind of like, okay, well, this is my life, so, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So so you just roll with the punches, literally. Yeah. Basically, basically. So, yeah. so when's the last time, when's the last time? time you stepped ring like strapped on the gloves and that uh, has sparred oh god it's been years mm-hmm. Yo, like really? yeah. Least... yeah 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 i'm trying to think um oh god i don't even know over five wow. years 
Okay. Mm. That's yeah. not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. She had a dojo yeah. in the back of her crib. Like, I know, man. <laughs> it was I know. It's like, yo, what? <laughs> Yeah, Crazy. I went over there for the first time. It's like, yeah, we could hang out in my room, or we could go kick it in the dojo. I'm like, the didn't, what now? Didn't didn't your dad bring in some like big name fighters too? Like Dan Severn the Bear at one point, and like yeah. Ken Shopak's brother and stuff. I remember that yeah, shit. That I remember was, uh, that shit. That was that was like Ninety eight, I think 19, that was. Ninety four. That was a ninety four one. Wait, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, because yeah, they yeah. got arrested and stuff like that. Like, yeah, uh, right. all the fighters got arrested. They went to court. Mm -hmm. Like, that's um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like a huge fucking shitstorm because it wasn't legal at the time. Yeah, it, so, it, yeah, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. That's right. My my father literally brought the first extreme combat yeah. sport to Canada. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. That's badass. Yeah, yeah so, I remember that. <laughs> I saw it firsthand. It was pretty fucking cool, guys. Yeah, that's worth it. No doubt, man. No <laughs> doubt. Like, it was really cool to see. For like, sure. Well, because sure. Ganawage like, is self is supposed to be self governing, right? So, exactly. like, you can't beat people up, anyways, right? I mean, like, legally. Mm -hmm. Like, legally, yeah. But it's kind of it's not <laughs> a it's not a it's not a lawless <laughs> place. But the laws of Quebec and all that, and a lot of instances don't apply in the same way or at least like good luck enforcing them right so yeah, you could fill exactly. it was at the arena i'm guessing yep you yep. get a lot of bubs in those seats boy to for see it sure. to see a scrap for sure for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. absolutely well if i if i remember correctly it was sold out yeah but, of course uh, I, I couldn't see why not absolutely <laughs> after, it was after that happened uh they started doing a thing like night of the warriors so it was like kickboxing like you know mixed martial arts sort of thing and like uh something I would, that like, looked a little more martial arty rather than just a cage scrap you know like exactly yeah. exactly so they did that at the arena for years and years so yeah it's just something i was i seen growing up like mm -hmm. it was just something i was always around like you know, my dad was always promoting something, and uh, eventually it turned into the IFC, uh, the International Fighting Championships. So, okay. uh, yeah, they did, like, fights in the U.S. and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah. Cool, man. That's yeah. cool. It was pretty cool to see. Very cool. Yeah, for our yeah. listeners and watchers out there, don't let this aw shucks shit fool you, eh? Liz has got mad squabbles. Yo, no we're, fuck yo, around. We were in there one time. She's like, you want to fight? And I'm like... All right, so we put on the headgear, the gloves. You're just, you know. I really don't remember this. Oh yeah, yeah, it was badass. <laughs> we're listening, we're listening to, we are listening to Takal 2000, and oh, we are there, shit. and I was like kind of like pushing your head rather than trying to like hit you just because we're having fun, and then you threw the spinning back fist. <laughs> Boom. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was on Dumb Street for five seconds at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's got me in a nice. choke. What That's the fuck a pretty good move, though. That is a very good move, I have to say. Oh, I yeah, wish yeah. I was going to see that one, but... Yeah. Yeah, and I was not ready for it, and it did what? I'm sure... You know what? <laughs> I got my father with one of those yeah. one time. We were just messing around, whatever, mm -hmm. and he was the one who taught it to me, right? Yeah. So he was just, like, messing around, whatever, and then I'm like, fuck him. Like, he was just being a dick. Like, he kept, like, hitting me on the head, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I was just, like wound up fuck and i clocked him <laughs> it's funny because my mom was recording it and you see his face just go <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah that was one of my proud moments hell yeah, oh, right on, right hell on, yeah. Right i was like let's do something else man <laughs> <laughs> Yo, turn up that music turn up that music Yo, you got an xbox this is bullshit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry, Grant. <laughs> it's all right, man. It was, it was amazing. I I still remember it. I yeah, I still remember. Uh, too good. Yeah, too yeah, yeah. Good. I'll, I'll never forget it. I mean, I lost seven, eight seconds of my life in that moment. I don't remember. <laughs> Yeah. Lost a few brain cells too at the, at the same time. I came, I came to we're at footies. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah. Gosh. <sighs> yeah, too man. Good, too good. Well, that's awesome, man. That's good. That's, it's neat that your father did that. You know, got to bring that first fight there to to, to North America, pretty much, or Canada, I should say, to oh, the yeah. north. That's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. I don't know um, why there isn't a better pipeline of indigenous combat fighters. You know what I mean? There is, though. There is. Like, out here, man, I've watched some real solid, solid boxers come up, man. Like, yeah, solid. Oh, probably, but there's no gym that's like, hey, we train as many people as we can 
all the young up and comers come out here. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. And then, you know, like, I mean, if you have a plug to Dana or any of the even got promotions under that, Dana White employs 6,000 fighters or something ridiculous throughout all the different low organizations. You yeah. know what I mean? You can have a better pipeline of Native Americans coming up for that. It's in our blood. We're warriors. I get, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't know. That's yeah. kind of, yeah, crazy. We can put Z in there three days notice, just. <laughs> Fuck some shit up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is oh, it for the belt or what? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Skoden. Skoden. Yeah. Skoden. Yeah, fuck you right. I, I, I can't speak for our guest, Lizzie Thomas, but I will definitely say she probably subscribes to the fuck around and find out school like we do. Yeah. We are yeah. big fans of, of the, that ideal. You fuck around and find out. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to find out, but you can if you fuck around. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Lindsay, check this out. So. We, we know that you've worked on uh, a few few TV series and stuff like that and behind the scenes stuff for certain movies and stuff, right? Uh, mm-hmm. One of the one of them being uh, the Mohawk Girls. Hell yeah! Uh-huh. How was uh, how was the experience and what did it mean to you being part of something homegrown that succeeded like it did? Um. Well, that was one of the first projects that I got to work on. Uh, and it was really nice because I got to know a lot of different people okay. from the community. Uh, I connected with people from different reserves too, who came to work on as extras. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to network with other native artists too, um, yes. because a lot of the artists they hired, uh, yes. were local. Uh, mm-hmm. and I think it was, it was something to be proud of because you know she gave people the opportunity she stimulated the the economy you know and gave people yes. a voice who we probably would never have that opportunity what's her you name know, there were a few uh tracy tracy deer the tracy director deer. there you go the director yeah of the yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like, i know, you know what she her, looks like her. i just i never actually knew the name yeah i've seen her in all the behind the scenes yeah. stuff in the the clips but yeah uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I thought it was great that you know she brought the show to Gunawagi and gave locals the opportunity to make money and you know to take some to take pride in something. And you know, I I personally feel like you know she did a great job with it. Like you know, working on the show, like it was really fun. It was it was like a family. And nice. you know, I appreciated getting to know different people and networking, like I had mentioned and. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm really grateful that she, I, I had the opportunity to work on it, you know, because it was a stepping stone to get me to where I am today. Uh, mm-hmm. So, but I, I did get to work with Tracy uh, again uh, on Beans that was released uh, last year. Okay. So, it was about the Oka crisis. Jeez. Oh, um, yeah. I seen that. I watched yeah. that. That was good. That was really good. Yeah, uh, I actually won a few Canadian Screen Awards. Um, it was that was a little more difficult to be part of because at the time the Oka crisis happened, I was six years old, so mm-hmm. I remember a lot of what happened. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. to be quite honest, I got re-traumatized. Like Crazy. there was a lot of like you know times where I'd be crying on set, and I'm just like, okay, whatever. But like it did heal me in a bit. Because, you know, when it initially happened, when I was six years old, I didn't know what what, ha- what happened or what was going on. I didn't understand. Yeah. This time around, like, I could comfort myself and be like, no, this, is, this isn't this is real. This is, you know, what, mm-hmm. what happened wasn't your fault, mm-hmm. you know. It, so it was basically like I relived my trauma from that. Because okay. um, I'm not going to lie, 1990 really fucked me up. And it really fucked with my identity, like, as a Native person because people hated us and i didn't understand why i just knew people hated us people were throwing rocks at our cars people w- weren't letting us get food like you know so mm-hmm. being six years old and not understanding all these things like like i was old enough to remember all this shit so um <clears throat> as traumatizing as it was to experience it again like i think it really helped me to move forward and be a little more accepting and uh understanding that you know all those things weren't my fault 
back when I was six years old. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I was, I was able to, yeah, I guess be there for myself more. So, yeah, but it's a really powerful movie. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, Grant, I, I, yeah, Corey, you've seen it, Grant. I don't know I, if you've seen, seen it, but yet, definitely. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to watch it now. It's yeah. good. It's good, man. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and it is very similar to, you know, what a lot of us experience. Yeah. Like, you know, being on the reserve when that happened. So it was really scary shit. Like, mm-hmm. it was it was not a fucking joke. See, no. like, my, uh, my, experience, my experience isn't exactly like yours, but it's similar. Because I actually saw it on both sides, right? Because I'm over here in the yeah. street. We yeah. had my father would take us by. Uh, sorry. Imagine a scenario where hypothetically, because <laughs> I don't know if there's a statute of limitation on this, where my father would have to run us by boat across to my grandmother's under the cover of night and shit. And he would uh, hypothetically maybe do like supply runs and help people out and shit. Like, like uh-huh. my, my, my dad, my dad's got a lot of love over there, man. My dad. Just showing a lot of people over there yeah. that he's a good dude, yep. you know, and he yep. would help people yep. out and he would bring like supplies and all kinds of shit. And, mm-hmm. you know, a couple of yeah. times, you know, hypothetically, if this actually did happen that, you know, SQ yeah. boats with the lights and he's taken back channels. He had he may have had to go way out of his way to lose them and come back. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah. On, then on it's the other shit. side, you know, we tr- go try to drive over spot checks. Why can't we mm-hmm. just go see grandma? Why can't we just go to Toots' house, you I, know? I was in yeah. a car. I was when I was in a car with you, Grant, going across the bridge to your grandma's place. Mm-hmm. I remember that. I remember that. And Holy like shit. just just the people on the bridge with fucking guns, bro. It was wild. It was wild. Mm-hmm. I got I, I got that. quite familiar crazy. with the AK forty seven. Yes, you did. Beautiful yes, you machine. Did. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Wild. Yeah. But wild. yeah. So I, that's great that you got to work on something that, you know. Like, because yeah. we were we were kids, right? We can't understand one, yeah, what pol- political posturing is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. there was tons of that where you know they don't care about the people on the streets; they care about how they look and fucking on the camera and that. Tons of political yeah. posturing, tons of just misunderstanding, and because everyone's frustrated, that misunderstanding just turns into rage, rage against Native yep. Americans, mm-hmm. rage against yep. rage against you know any person that wasn't Native American in the surrounding area. Because if one person calls you an A and B and a C, it's kind of hard to disregard that when you think, well, if this guy feels that way and everyone else is like this guy, they, you know, the bridge is blocked and they're pissed. Everybody yeah. probably hates yeah. us, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, how do you, you can't process that at six. I would think maybe I was no. seven. Right. You know? Yeah. No. No, definitely can't. Absolutely no. not. And the climate in the houses that we were in was a lot of anger. Mm. You know, exactly. My uncle Lowe's exactly. guy was, you know, heavily part of the the, the resistance there, and he stood mm-hmm. up and he'd come by the house, and there was just a lot of, of it was a hot summer to to quote the other movie. It was one hot summer, like no doubt, uh-huh. it was no doubt. serious business. Pretty crazy, but yeah. For sure. What I loved about Mohawk Girls because I watched it twice through, twice or maybe nice. three times because I would nice. catch it on TV, but it was it was actually on the EPTN website, so you could watch mm-hmm. the episodes. Mm-hmm. it has such an authentic feeling. Like you feel like you're standing there in Gunawage next to these girls while this mm-hmm. is happening. You yeah. know, anyone That's who's cool. like, yeah. you, you know, That's anyone cool. who's ever been in any scenario over there, the the, yeah. the way, pe- the way people speak, the way people interact with each other, the looks, uh-huh. the, the uneasiness of certain encounters. It felt real. Sure. It felt real. And yeah. it was so funny mm-hmm. without being hokey. True. Uh-huh. It could have it could have come off super corny because you're going for a softer appeal. It's like mm-hmm. no 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 yeah. no no. This is about people who live in Gunawage. These are the Mohawk girls, and you're gonna get you're gonna get the authenticity of girls uh-huh. who are Mohawk yeah. who live in this place. <laughs> like you know, yeah. they, it, it could have been well, goofier, and it wasn't. It was still good. Like when the girl gets yeah, caught well. with the, all the strappy stuff on, and she was doing the video chat, whatever, uh-huh. and the ambulance gets her. You know what I mean? Oh, that's, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one I of those stories you would have heard. Filming that day. Yeah. yeah. It was like, fuck, <laughs> did you hear about that one? Like, that would be a <laughs> yeah, rumor yeah, that no, would circulate, true. right? And then. Mm-hmm. I thought. No, like. No, no, go like, ahead. The unfortunate the thing was yours. that she, like, was that, like, she did get a lot of flack from, like, the community. And I didn't understand why. You really? know, like. The character people, or the yeah, actress? People, they no people the community the community were upset with Tracy for releasing the series. 
Really? Or a number of different for misrepresenting us. And it's like, come on. Like, uh, I think that accurately I, represents. <laughs> right? I don't know. I I thought she did a really good job. And wow. I, I wow. don't know. Some, but it's like, that's just it. Some Like, that's just. It just goes to show, like, some people can never be happy for other people. Mm -hmm. And, Crazy, you know, man. like, I, I, it, like, there's mixed reviews. Some people, some people like it. Some people hate it. Like, I, I think she did a great job. And I think it was really great that she helped to stimulate the economy and give people this opportunity wow. to work in film. Mm -hmm. You for know, sure, like, right? for not, sure. not just for the crew members, but mm -hmm. for the extras as well. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it wasn't just like a small show, like. I yeah. really respect what she tried to do. Like, uh, you know, she gave she gave a lot of us like our first shot or she gave us a shot, mm -hmm. you yes. know, so yes. like, uh, you know, and I, I have respect for, you know, all people who, you know, are trying to make it in film like it's it's a tough industry. Let me tell you, Mohawk <laughs> girls should never be viewed as anything but a massive soaring success mm. in storytelling yeah, thought, and representation. It didn't mm. have that, like, because some Canadian television, at least throughout our lives, had a very Canadian feel to it and a look to right. it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't. Yeah. For sure. No. You know? No. I and it thought, doesn't have the tragedy I, a lot of native-driven uh, shows have. North of 60 mm -hmm. and uh, Moxton oh, Flats yeah, yeah. and, like, a lot of them, like, there's this overhanging tragedy where, you know, mm. in this show, the problems are mostly modern problems. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. The the and, one that people can relate to. Yeah, the one girl falls in love with her cousin. The other girl falls in love with the Haitian guy, but she sticks with the the guy Butterhead because that's what she's supposed to do. Be, you know, mm -hmm. like these are mm -hmm. these, these. This is a modern representation. It's not just about uh, the tragedy of you know, yeah, of of, mm -hmm. the, of the native experience. This is girls today dealing with the shit they have to deal with. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna say Sex of the City because that's a different ideal. But it definitely yeah. has mm -hmm. a strong friendship. The girls, for the most part, take care of each other. You know, I mm -hmm. think I think it's brilliant. I think it's such an overall success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's always cool to notice, you know, like certain spots. Like, oh, I've been there. Oh, I know what that is. Oh, I... yeah, yeah, I know that girl. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, no but... doubt. Eh? Definitely pretty cool to see that for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. definitely. Work, and and work, awesome, sorry, and awesome work. that you were a part of it. That, Hell yeah. That, that, that's, even, that's even better. It know? just made it more beast. That, that's pretty cool. That, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's cool. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Do you ever that's come cool. across other people in the industry who have seen like that specific, like that in particular? See what in particular? Mohawk uh, Girls? Yeah. Like, does uh, anyone be like, yeah, hey, uh, like, oh, you're from Gunawaga? I saw that show and it's fucking rad. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> as far as working, like, uh, on, like, you know, uh, crews and stuff like that. Like, oh, I worked on Mohawk Girls. So, you yeah, know, yeah. you ask what season, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. But not right. like the everyday Joe kind of thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah not really. I hear you. I hear you. I hear That's you. cool. Yeah, I thought it was super rad. Good show. Yeah. I, hope, I, hope, I, hope, I, thought it was great. I hope they do like a four episode, like 10 years later sort of thing. <laughs> that would be that would be really cool if they did. Imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, a, a lot of Canadian media leaves an imprint for its uh, its its realism. Like, like you know people who are like this. Like, you watch Trailer Park Boys. It is so unique, mm -hmm. but you have met people kind of like that. If you've ever been to Nova Scotia, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Letterkenny, they hit all the demographics. You know people like this. You know, yep. can they, when you get a piece of Canada, or at least Canadian representation in film... A lot of times you could really it really resonates because of the humanity of the people and Mohawk Girls is definitely that mm -hmm. by yeah. a million miles. Mm -hmm. yeah. For sure, absolutely. Okay. Hit it right on the nose with that one for sure. Yeah. for sure. That brings us to the end of episode one. Chan, this interview is incredible. It's going good, man. It's going real good. Fucking Loving it. Yeah. Loving it. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in to check out our girl Lindsay Thomas. Yes. Yeah, if you like that, there's a whole bunch more coming in episode two, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's always great when you got an, an interview come in, and next thing you know, you're making two episodes out of it because it's just, it's just yeah, yeah it's you good. got enough good shit to go. Exactly, man. It's yeah. nice. It's real nice. Yeah, nothing but love. So stay tuned. Yeah, stay, stay tuned. tuned. Nothing but episode love and two. appreciation for our girl Lindsay, and yes. uh, yeah, tune in for that. So, for Corey Chan out there in the WPG. It's your boy Don the Jeweler. Stay safe, take care of each other, and say goodnight to the bad guys.